Hey Aquarius Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thanks so much for joining me. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope your week is off to a great start. Um, I believe I will be posting this on Monday. So this is the first day of the week. I hope everything is going amazing for you. I do see some good stuff coming. Um, you This word just popped in my head when I started your reading. Y'all know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip it if you need to. Could be past, present, future energy or someone else around you. I'm picking up on energetically. Okay, so listen. This word came through and you're the first one to get this. I got a song for someone else, but for you, I got the word freedom. Freedom. I don't know if someone is incarcerated. I don't know if this is a mental prison, you know, like you're keeping yourself caged or um, trapped or stuck or you felt stuck in a situation, but you are being set free. OK, some of you is kind of like this, this the energy I'm picking up is an Aquarius or for Aquariuses or Aquarians who um, are setting themselves free from a way of thinking. And what I mean by that is like family traditions or your friend circle. Like, you know how you outgrow your friend circle. You can even outgrow your family. <laughs> you outgrow jobs. Like, I just kind of feel you're in that stage where you're like, yeah, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm better than this. That's what I feel. You're setting yourself free. Someone in your energy is unhinged. Okay. You could be having legal issues with someone, but spirit is giving you this peace that just surpasses your own understanding. And I love it. You have Archangel Michael here, which talks about the throat chakra. It's about mercy and justice. Protection gives you direction, motivation for spiritual healers and teachers. Some of you are spiritual healers or teachers. You're releasing attachments. What did I say? Freedom. Delivers messages of importance. So there could be important messages coming in for you. Some of you could be writers or artists or actors, or um, you're trying to get pregnant, trying to conceive. Um, this is very good energy for those of you that applies to you. So some breakthroughs coming in for you. We have a vindication here. You have good karma on your side. You could be reaching a compromise or clearing your name. All right. There's some financial breathing room coming in with the Six of Pentacles. All right. That could also be like a pretty balanced, fair relationship with equal give and take coming in, maybe with the Taurus or something could be happening um, in Libra or Taurus season. If it doesn't have anything to do with either of those signs. We have the Tower here. And the Tower here is showing me what your thoughts are. So some of you, you could be thinking about financial ruin. You could be thinking about bankruptcy. You could be thinking about a breakup you know, leaving a home, separating, divorcing, whatever it might be, something just feeling upside down, something very chaotic could be on your mind right now. Spirit is saying when it comes to negative self-talk, say less, much less, actually just stop it all together. So spirit wants you to stop thinking negatively if you are. Okay. Some of you, something has happened emotionally recently that has left you in a very negative headspace. Let's see what's going on. What is vindicated? You're being vindicated. What is this about? Underestimated. Hmm. Someone doubted you. They didn't think you could do something. Hmm. Underestimated, huh? Well, they thought they were going to be victorious over you. Again, this could be a legal dispute, some kind of resolution, or you getting a judgment in your favor. We have frequent flyer. Some of you, there's some travel coming up. An opportunity for business travel or an opportunity in work. Actually, a lot of good opportunities coming your way. Some of you could have lost a job recently with this tower being here that can talk about like abrupt changes for the worst, you know? And so this could be like a situation where you're actually being moved into a better position and you just don't see that coming. Maybe in Sagittarius season, someone wants to invest in you. Yeah, if you have a business, that's a good sign. Or that could just be someone wanting to invest in you and offer you a job. I don't know. You have financial breathing room, so that's good. What's going on with that? Out in the cold. Yeah, somebody's been having financial issues. You could have moved out of a home or a breakup could have caused you to have financial stress on you. That's a Scorpio and Taurus energy. Don't know if these signs mean anything. They may, they may not. Hold on a second, y'all. Yeah, I was saying some kind of financial burden could have, you know... You could be suffering as a result of leaving a relationship. You know how it gets to the point where it's like, I got to go. I don't care. Sensitive. You could be very sensitive about this. But the cycle is ending. Death card. Scorpio energy. It could be anything with the Scorpio. This is a necessary ending. Somebody's ego is also very bruised. 
that you cut them off and you moved on and you said, I don't care if I have to go downsize to a smaller place. I don't care if I have to take a couple losses. I'm going to do it. What is this upside down in your in your um on your mind? Never try to prove your worth to anyone. Prove it to yourself by walking away from those who don't see it for themselves exactly. So this is you walking away from this person who didn't see your value, didn't see your worth, didn't honor you. It could be a Scorpio and Aries, doesn't have to be. Show me more about the upside down shape. Because, okay, you know how they say things fall apart so better things can come together? God had to shake you up with you in the shape here by showing you this person wasn't for you. You had to see the worst of the worst of this person and go through a lot of stress with them to identify what was going wrong in your life. And you may be beating yourself up thinking, especially if you have children, did I do the right thing? You did the right thing. Spirit don't want you to spend no more time worrying about this person. Show me this negative self-talk. We have bottom. They wanted to keep you on the bottom. I told y'all that the other day. Somebody really does not want you to move forward. They don't want to treat you right. They don't want to be with you and treat you right. They just want to be with you and treat you wrong so that you don't ever know your worth and your value. The end again, okay? Scorpio energy. Some of y'all definitely end things with a Scorpio. Be the bigger person. I told you in the very beginning, this is you taking a high road. Standing your ground, having boundaries, Leo energy, but also not getting in the mud with this person. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm going to choose my battles wisely. I told you in the very beginning, you have a, a very sage wisdom about yourself. You're very calm. You're in King of Cups energy. King of Cups, some of you are on the Aquarius Pisces cusp. Very much not letting your emotions rule you. You're calm amid chaos. Things are falling apart all around you with this tower, the upside down. But you still, you know what? I'm going to hold it together. <laughs> What's going on here? Seven of Swords. Some of y'all, this is an Aquarius. You couldn't trust. A liar, a cheater, somebody sneaky, deceptive. They could be spying on you. Look at this poison here. Yeah. They were nothing but poison. The star. Strong Aquarius is coming through. July the 17th could be significant. That would be what? Cancer? Hmm. They wanted to keep you confused. I told y'all they want to keep y'all trapped. He's holding on to three swords. He has two swords behind his leg. I mean, behind. Between his legs. So his sword between his legs if this is a masculine they could have a beard um he wanted to keep you confused the two of swords is confusion torn stuck they wanted to keep you stuck and confused with their sword they were using sex as the weapon this person was a heartbreaker they definitely broke your heart and they didn't care they wanted to keep you stuck suspended trapped where's the other sword because i'm seeing two down here one two three four five six Oh, it's seven. Yeah, so they have two swords here. So again, they, they also can have another situation they were invested in and they had that person confused too. Everywhere they go, they create confusion. You kept trying to heal this person. You have a very healing energy about yourself. This is your spirit guides though. Your spirit guides were blocking this. This person could still be watching you though, stalking you, spying on you. Strong Aquarius, look at this. Nightmares. I saw the nightmare card too. I think one of these cards has nightmare on the other. Look at that nightmare. Somebody's having nightmares because you're moving on. You got new love coming in, and this person regrets losing you, baby. To be a Gemini, you have a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio coming in. This is true love. Wow. You could already be dealing with this person. Page of Swords. Didn't I tell you they stalking you? They watching you? They spying on you? Look at them. <laughs> they are defeated. This person was nothing but stress. You got the stress card right there. And then you get the tarot card for stress. You got stress. Remember? And the upside down. This person has been stressful for you. And a lot of you, you have your guards up. You don't want to talk to this person anymore. It could be a Sagittarius, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Two more cards for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Not interested. Rejecting them. Four of Cups. Hanging with your friends. Three of Cups. Or maybe meeting someone new. You can even be reconciling with old friends or reconciling with an old love. Strong Cancer. Bottom of the deck. Temperance. You have found your peace. And this is Archangel Michael coming out again. 
Look at you, Queen of Swords. Mm -mm, don't want to talk to you. They had a mistress. They had another feminine they were dealing with anyway. Okay, those are your messages. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace.